We can have a spontaneous dance party right now. Yeah, this, if this is how I really dance, that'd be really sad. What is this? What movie what is, is this? There? But, you know. It is. <laughs> what is it? It's like this one. Yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We are here with the most beautiful and talented Esme Bianco. for you to be here. Me too. Yay. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. So I wanted to ask you some questions that maybe hopefully you haven't already answered at some other point in time mm -hmm. so some fans of yours can get to know you a little bit better. Awesome. So we yeah. should then talk about Game of Thrones. Yes. <laughs> How did that come about? Um, I got an audition from my agent um, for the role and at the time Roz did not have a name. She was called the red-headed whore actually. I was going to say redhead prostitute, but she wasn't. It was just like redheaded whore was literally the name of the character. And then eventually they called and they were like, yeah, you got the role. Can you start filming like next week? And then you were like, yay! I was like, yay! <laughs> but at the same time, I was like, oh God. It was like such a long process to get the part that when I finally got it, I was like, <gasps> it was kind of a mixture of like relief. Like, oh my sure. God, I don't have to audition again. And like, oh yay, now I got it. And then I was like, oh, now I'm really scared. <laughs> and I'm really glad that at the time I had no idea how big a Game of Thrones was gonna be. No and one did, right, no at that did. point? And if I'd known, I would have been so terrified. I don't think I could have. I could have done it. Is there a female in your life that has been a major influence on who you are today? Probably my mom. You know, my mom always taught me to like be who I am and follow my dreams. And is that on Madonna? But I don't think Madonna <laughs> really counts as like in my life, does she? Physically? No, totally. Well, I think Madonna is totally a valid my, answer. Between my mom and Madonna, both very different people. Um, I was obsessed with Madonna since I was six or seven, I think. Um, as we all were. As we all were. You know, it made me kind of realize that a woman could be more than just one thing. That was like really exciting for me. The idea that I could like dress up and be all these different characters was amazing to me. How does your mom feel about the fact though that you, her and Madonna sit equally? I don't know why, she, I've never <laughs> mentioned this to her before, so I'm not quite sure how she's gonna um, react to that. As a female who is an actor and an artist, what do you feel like that brings to the table? Well, I think most women, like, it's kind of difficult not to generalize, but the majority of women tend to be slightly more connected to their feelings, I think, in a sense. I feel like I have more of a, you know, short circuit into that. Sure. So um, when I'm like working on a part, I have like access to, um, you know, an array of emotions. And I sometimes think like, there's a lot more expectations on your shoulders as a woman. Mm -hmm. Whereas I so sometimes think like, God, just to be a guy and to not have <laughs> like, it all be about like the way you look and yeah. the, how much you weigh and yes. all of that stuff is, you know, it can be really frustrating. What advice would you give the 15 year old you? I think I tell 15 year old me that things were gonna all, everything was gonna work out fine, but it mm -hmm. wasn't gonna, work out the way I had expected it to. I would definitely tell 15 year old me to like relax a bit. I was kind of, you know, you know, when you're 15, you know, very self-conscious and... Yes. Well, I was very worried and I think I would tell myself to just let it go. Everyone has their own path and their own yes. journey mm -hmm. and that you have to embrace the one that you're on because if you start comparing yourself to a way that other people did things or this isn't the route I should be going or such and such did it this way or so and so is this age and you know those endless comparisons will be like the death of you. Belief in yourself is so important in in terms of forging ahead and what you really want to do. Yeah. I think that that's that's one of our the biggest messages that we want to portray here at Happy Adorning is that really it's all about if you believe in yourself and you give your space you give yourself the space to do what you want to do then mm -hmm. then you can make it happen. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. So now you have some new stuff on the horizon. Can yes. you can you talk about at all what you're up to? Yes, so I am filming a new show at the moment called The Magicians. It's going to be on Sci-Fi Network. Um, it is awesome. It's 
based on books, and it's kind of difficult to describe, but it's a little bit like Harry Potter goes to university and grows up, and it's really edgy and dark and cool, and there's some elements sort of like of Narnia type fantasy in there. It's fantastic. Um, so at Happy Adorning, we love to adorn. We love things that do adorn. We love jewelry. What is your favorite piece of adornment? I put a little something with me. This is a brooch that belonged to my grandmother, Esme. It's so pretty. You know, okay. She um, very sadly died when my dad was very young um, of breast cancer. Oh. And this was hers, and it has a little lock of her hair in the back. Oh, that's so sweet. Which I think is really adorable. And um, I just like it, you know, it has sentimental value, and I think it's beautiful brooch as well. Yes. Um, it looks really nice. I like to wear it on like, um, like either a dress like this, I guess, or like a... Do you, do you actually wear it? I do wear it. Oh, good. And I like to wear it on like a, um, like a coat. You know, I think that looks really nice. Yes. Um, it actually so would yeah. look really pretty with this dress. It would look really pretty with this dress, so... And I think you're awesome. Thank you, I think you're awesome too. Thanks for I coming. Love you. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> So if you want to know more about Esme Bianco, check out some links below, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>